well when i do this one we can see here this one changes a little bit and now we can see it's okay so seems this one is an issue with the drift for sure in this on the right side hi guys so let's test one more uh, controller uh, if you didn't watch me opening the all these controllers so please check the link above or below I'll probably put put it everywhere and you can see me opening the the lot of uh, of uh, controllers because I open actually I bought several of them so this is one of them so let's test this this one okay here are the properties okay well when I do this one we can see here this one changes a little bit and now we can see it's okay so seems this one is an issue with the drift for sure in this in this on the right side the left seems kind of okay but the right one for sure the, the horizontal one it's bad vertical as well it's not good because it should go all the way to the top like it goes to the bottom but to the top so it's not going and all the buttons seems to be working okay so probably the issue in this one here is is this part here maybe some uh, the drift itself let's see let's see what is what will be the issue sometimes it works you see if i touch a bit sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't so let's open it and see it okay i will skip all these disassemble and then just jump to the to the board itself if you want to to see the the video then just uh, check the link in the description or above and okay we took it out now the issue first let's give this a clean with some q-tips and uh, and clean all of this over here i see a bit of gunk a bit everywhere so let's quickly clean it okay I just passed here the q-tip everywhere with the with some IPA and that's it and no point to show you guys okay so the issue here is this this one over here actually I never took this one up any of these apart so I'm not sure if we I think if I try to unsolder these three pins over here I might be able to take out this this part over here because this is when we do to the sides it was when we had the issue so is, if you can see when I move it, it moves only this part this one doesn't move only when up and down so I think if I try to unsolder these ones maybe I can try to take out 
this one because uh, this do, 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 not sure if uh, no and I broke it actually <laughs> I was trying to press over here <laughs> you can see over here it has here this thing I just pull it in and it broke this one it just jumped somewhere <laughs> if you see this side it has both here on the top and the bottom okay anyway it doesn't seem to be affected for now <laughs> let's see so let's uh, try to to unsolder these ones let's see if I'm able to do it So it did come out and now okay so let's clean all of this mess with the IPA sorry battery went out uh, but what I did I went I did check this this doesn't seem so bad uh, if you can see here from both oh shoot but if you can see here from both sides of the inner ring let's see if it will if it will uh, uh, focus okay here in the this part of the ring you see it's a bit here a bit uh, like not doesn't seem so straight a bit up this side and this side maybe it's normal i'm not i'm not sure another thing that i did check is that here on this bottom part seems that some um, it's dirty uh, some corrosion corrosion so i'm not sure if this is related as well with the issue at all and what another thing that I did I had here I bought some some of these uh, replacements uh, so it's brand new and here okay you can see that is a bit different both of them the new one in the left and the old one in the right but probably just design a little bit different uh, and seems exact very similar and as well this part here it's as well very similar so i'm not sure if something is wrong with the with this one 
the one that was in the controller but what we can do we can clean these here and I will try to clean all of these here these uh, this greenish part maybe that will fix let's try again the old one and then if I see that uh, it's exactly the same as it was before so then we can try to put the new one and if that as well doesn't work probably replace all the all the joystick itself uh, because I have a few new ones brand new so they should uh, they should work so let's first do cleaning this and then try to put it back here because this is very small so it will be a pain and <laughs> it will take I guess quite some time for me I'm not I don't solder very often so let's let's see and as well here it's this uh, connector so we need to be careful here probably I will not use the heat gun otherwise this part might melt or if I use it then I need to put here some protection um, not to melt this connector but first things first uh, let's clean this with some IPA and uh, and then try to put it back again so probably I will fast forward all of these because I guess it will uh, take uh, quite some time Okay, I did clean it actually. I used this uh, this brush. This is a uh, shoot. I forgot the name now. But this is a uh, this is a specific brush to clean metal, specifically when it's rusted and so on. Uh, so I'll put a link in the description for this, uh, so you can check it. And I did clean it, and seems much shinier now. So might be that uh, might be something related that to the issue that we had. Not sure, not sure. But let's see. Let's uh, clean as well this part here with some IPA. Okay, and now let's uh, install this back.
Okay, so let's let's uh, leave it to dry a little bit. Then I will uh, assemble everything and see if it will uh, if it improves. Uh, so let's see. Maybe it doesn't. I'm not sure. I'm not that confident. So let's let's see. Okay, I just mounted everything. Uh, I did solder all the all the motors, both of them, uh, and I did a lot of cleaning. I took here to the sticker as well. So and a lot of cleaning needed to be done inside. So it took me actually quite some time. So now let's see if uh, everything works properly. So connecting it. Let's go here to devices and printer and it should appear somewhere here why is not showing it's not showing why that we see the light Ah, it's here, okay. I think it was detecting. I was getting scared already. So let's go to to the details of the controller, properties, and uh, actually very good. Seems nothing, it's okay. So it goes both sides. So let's up. Doesn't move down, doesn't move left, right, <laughs> left and right. So it seems okay as well. This one seems fine. So, so it seems actually it's quite, quite fixed. I don't see any really bad things happening, not drifting going around. Okay, maybe when I go here. To the right this seems here that moves a little bit but I think this might be normal uh, I can try it as well later on with the PlayStation and see if if we can play properly or if there is something bad uh, but it seems that it's quite okay this one seems everything fine before it was not so good so and all the buttons everything seems to be working if i press everything so the screen everything seems fine all buttons so i think this is fixed actually so in the end seems that the issue was here just in the uh, the top one here that was uh, dirty so we just needed to use the here the this this pen uh, i will put a link in the description of uh, where i bought this i think i bought this for even from aliexpress uh, so this is to remove the the rust and there is a specific name for this for this pen but actually i forgot the the name but i will put a link in the description and then if you need it so you can use it often here in this kind of things this uh, potentiometer uh, usually it's uh, wear worn out so usually it needs to be replaced but here for our case actually it was just uh, just uh, dirty some uh, with some kind of rest uh, anyway i'll try this in the playstation just to play some game and see if everything is fine if it's fine uh, that's it. If not, uh, I will make a video as well for it. But for now, everything seems seems fixed. So hope uh, you like this one uh, as well. Thanks a lot for the 100 subscribers. Uh, it, it took me some time to to upload this video. Uh, so I think now we are in 115, something like that. So thanks a lot for uh, for subscribing. Uh, I think maybe I will do some some giveaway when we reach maybe 500 or a thousand 
let's see i still didn't decide but uh, leave in the comments if you want some some uh, giveaway or something like that maybe something that i will fix let's see so once again thanks a lot for uh, liking and subscribing continue to like and subscribe and uh, see you in the next one